Welcome back to Meme Review, everybody! Your number one show for all your favorite Roblox memes! Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it! First meme! Oh my god, this is terrible, everybody. If this is true, this is bad news. This could be the final boss of RB Battles. The final thing we have to defeat is Lil Nas X! No! Roblox would just immediately ban you. You know how much Roblox simps for Roblox. Actually, speaking of which, Sammy Daly points this out in her TikTok meme. Check it out. Hmm? You're watching Lil Nas X on TikTok as well, Roblox? Does the simping ever stop? Noobs when they attempt to get the RB Battles badge in Isla Royale. This is gonna be harder than I thought. What? You're telling me I don't just have to crouch three times and then I get the badge? I actually have to put in work? And I feel like this is a very appropriate response. Here we have two little nooblings in the wild talking to each other about their face. Favorite thing, insults. Honestly, though, that's actually pretty funny. You don't have VIP for the song in Robeads. Panic! Someone starts a match for the first song. Hallelujah, baby! They get disconnected! Scientists say if you listen just hard enough on a very quiet night, you can hear the squeals of thousands of young kitties who are raging at the computer trying to get that sword. Because the thing is, you can get them all without VIP. It's just gonna take a lot of grinding. And that's not what these little noobs want to do. They're used to getting everything with a snap of a finger. So as soon as they're first introduced to the concept of waiting, they can't comprehend it. They start screaming and shutting down. RB battles. Only one person can get an item if they find all the swords. YouTubers. I'm not saying I'm gonna be doing anything, but if Creecraft gets a bit too close, I think we're just gonna have to go snippy snippy on the old internet cable, hmm? Oh no, Creecraft suddenly can't stream himself getting the last item. I guess Devon will have to stream it instead. <laughs> I'm really excited for this bit though, because when it gets close, it is going to be so intense at the very end. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna be at a disadvantage though, because everything comes out at like 4 a.m. for me and I'm way asleep. I'm not staying up at 4 a.m. Maybe for the last item though. We've got to beat Creek to it! When you get 100 followers in Roblox and only three quarters of them are bots, how to handle fame. I'm sorry, boys, I'm too popular to talk to you now. I don't speak to scrub lords with less than 100 followers. But honestly, why do people just randomly bot followers on anyone? Some freaking like two year old who just signed into Roblox last week to play Adopt Me and only end up playing for like two minutes probably has like 800 followers from these bots. Is it Roblox doing it to make people feel popular? I don't know, why? Me when a scam bot enters the server. I like your funny words, bot man. Hey, get some free Robux at Robux.gg. I love free Robux. I won't steal your account. No, no, no. And the saddest thing is these work. This is the one place on the internet where scam bots thrive. You can actually make a profit because you got the little Timmies who are like free Robux. Wow, no one would ever lie on the internet. Mummy says liars go to heck. So they immediately go type up Robux.gg. They probably do about 10,000 surveys and then they go to claim their Robux and whoop, oh, got him, got your password. And then they tweet on Twitter, oh, someone hacked me. I didn't give anyone my username and password. Whoa, even Lil Nas X is getting on the memes. It's him, it's him. Literally everyone, when the hosts do anything in their day-to-day -day lives. Is that a hint? That is an old style reaction meme. Is that a hint? DJ Monopoly goes to the toilet. Is that a hint? <laughs> yeah, I literally just looked up Russo's last tweet and it's, I'm thinking about starting a Pokemon channel and stuff like that. And we immediately have replies like, OMG, you said the word Pokemon. The sword is inside Pokemon Bronze of Roblox. Wait. It, wait, excuse me, does that even exist? 
I'm pretty sure that game's gone, right? <laughs> yes, perfect. Midnight City says, everyone, the sword of truth is in some random copyright game. Go, go, go. Fan out, squad. Fan across the land. I want to see you guys play in every copyrighted game on Roblox, especially Shinobi Life 2. Me searches for a shirt in the catalog. That one shirt. There's an infinite amount of them. Roblox has the biggest bot shirting problem. I swear they have a bot problem with every feature they have. Like games, there were bot problems for that. Followers, there are bot problems for that. The scam bots, and of course, the long-standing catalog bots. There's actually a good tip here in the comments section. Edvinson says, look up clothing groups instead of searching for shirts in the catalog. Exactly. And if you want some sweet Devon merch, check out the Devon Roblox group. In a similar yet different situation, me buys only one white hair, one single Roblox white hair. Roblox feature catalog filter. What? You like hair? Well, how about we just swarm your entire front page with it? You'll give us more Robux, right? You'll be, you'll give us a thousand bucks worth. I will just give you all the hair you want. You want white RB battle swords? We got them all. Just please give us your money, please. Game becoming popular. Adopt me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how Adopt Me is still so popular and how it maintains it. All you can really do is trade pets and like get new eggs for new pets. That's like the main thing, right? Or am I missing something? Is what I've seen just the tutorial? Are there like thousands of levels out there with completely different game mechanics that I'm missing and all the six year olds just have some like innate connection to adopt me? Like telepathy and they just talk to each other and immediately know where to go? And here with this meme, Roblox, bam, adopt me update. Bye bye Roblox, your servers are going down for the next few hours. But in all honesty, adopt me is an amazing game. They deserve all the success they have. It's just something interesting and like maybe they have some special secret sauce that they put into the game. I don't know. The fan who knows a Roblox YouTuber in game. Him just trying to make a video without getting a horde and a lot of chatting. I feel so bad a lot of the time when I'm filming because people start like coming up to you and they start being like, Hi Devon! Hi, I love you Devon! Hi! And you're just trying to film a video and you want to reply to them but you don't have time because everyone's there and you're just filming and they're saying hi and why aren't you talking to me and I'm sitting there with nearly a tear in my eye going yeah, let's go on to the next area guys it honestly sucks that's why I use an alt account Mr. Munchly Yum Yum when RB Battles realizes that they left the leak of the winner in their code ah. and if you don't know what happened here this is referring to a leak of the RB Battles back end which pretty much revealed the winner of RB Battles but they came out and said that it was just placeholders it was all randomized so none of it was actually accurate but as my usernames this points out I feel like the RB Battles leaks on the event page are 100% accurate and their posts were just a distraction because I think so far it has been 100% accurate so that's actually kind of scary I would feel so bad for the people at RB Battles if this was the case I really really honestly hope not but oh my goodness that would that be horrible <laughs> this is a good meme about creek craft rb battles creek the maple donut badge the piggy theories ah oh, my sweet sweet piggy theories i have to agree with creek though like there's no more piggy theories that can really be made at the moment since minitune hasn't updated the game for ages the maple donut badge well it's like a missing person from 1960s it's like a cold case at this point he says to look at the bigger picture and i'm pretty sure he means look at the bigger picture at life like look at what you're doing you can't just be spending all your time searching for a badge you gotta go out and live dude that's a very wholesome message from minitune but very infuriating for us Yes, the streamers when they realize the sword is not in jailbreak. <laughs> it reminds me of Creekcraft. Every time someone got the question mark badge, he was like, oh, the sword is confirmed in here. The sword is confirmed in jailbreak. The sword is confirmed in Roblox Islands. The sword is confirmed in Battle Royale. I don't actually know if he kept saying that, but I just thought it was quite funny. He definitely said it for the jailbreak one. But hey, at least he's trying, unlike someone. Mobile players, getting the blue or the purple sword. Island Royale. 
Royale being PC only and having a possibility to have the sword in it. Ah, uh, yes, this is a big concern, but no, 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 don't worry. Remember, Island Royale is having a mobile update very soon. So if the sword is in there, you won't be missing out for long because Roblox Battles is gonna be going on for a while. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe and go check out RB Battles what's going on right now. Who knows, maybe one day, if you wish upon a star hard enough, maybe Devon will be in RB Battles. Or maybe he'll at least get into the star program one day. Goodbye!